you're not going to produce more jobs by passing right to work legislation. There is evidence, though, that passing right to work legislation actually will hurt um, household incomes. And it makes sense. What unions are good at is raising incomes, raising household incomes, and that's good for the economy. If people have more money, that means people have more money, and it also means they buy more goods. And so, and so if you want right to work legislation, the economic impact will be zilch on jobs, but bad in terms of income. So the argument is that this is not about economics per se, unless you want lower wages. The other way you should be concerned about it is the fact that what this does um, is, is in many ways uh, bring Minnesota into a highly contentious political environment, very similar to Ohio, very similar to Indiana, very similar to Wisconsin. And what it does is it'll throw us into the middle of even worse of a divide in the state than we already are. I mean, we don't need to go into a labor war in this state. There's no indication that, that organized labor in this state um, is, is causing problems such as hurting the economy. And so in many ways, Supporting this legislation, supporting this constitutional amendment is initiating a war that doesn't need to occur.